The story of the MiG-27, known as the Flogger, in NATO circles, begins in the late 1960s, a period marked by rapid advancements in military aviation technology. The Soviet Union, recognizing the need for a dedicated ground attack aircraft capable of delivering tactical nuclear strikes, initiated the development of the MiG-27 based on the existing MiG-23 fighter design. The primary objective was to create an aircraft that excelled in low-altitude strike missions, a role that the MiG-23's variable geometry wings were initially designed for, but not fully optimized. The design team, led by the eminent Rostislav Apolosovich Belyakov, after the death of the original MiG-series designer, Artem Ivanovich Mikoyan, faced numerous challenges. They sought to significantly improve the aircraft's survivability in high-threat environments, which led to a complete overhaul of the avionics suite, increasing the emphasis on ground attack capabilities while reducing the air-to-air -air combat features inherent in the MiG-23. One of the most significant changes in the MiG-27 was the removal of the MiG-23's radar system, replaced by a simpler, nose-mounted laser rangefinder and marked target seeker system. This change not only reduced the weight of the aircraft, but also enhanced its ground attack accuracy. Additionally, the airframe was substantially reinforced to withstand the rigors of low-level flight and the stress of high-speed, low-altitude maneuvers. The engineers also focused on enhancing the aircraft's survivability against ground fire. This led to the introduction of armor plating around the cockpit and critical systems, along with the integration of a new ejection seat that provided the pilot with a higher chance of survival during low-altitude ejections. Another key aspect of the MiG-27's development was its engine. The designers equipped the aircraft with a more powerful engine variant, the Tumansky R-29, providing higher thrust and better performance at low altitudes, which was crucial for the ground attack role. As the development progressed, the MiG-27 evolved to have a distinct identity, moving away from its MiG-23 lineage. The aircraft's wings were modified for better low-speed performance, and its undercarriage was strengthened to allow for heavier payloads and rough field operations. By the time the MiG-27 entered service in the early 1970s, it had become a highly specialized aircraft, distinctly different from its forebear, the MiG-23. It was tailored for the demands of close air support, interdiction, and other ground attack missions, setting a new standard for Soviet strike aircraft. The MiG-27, a true embodiment of Soviet engineering prowess, was a significant leap forward in ground attack aircraft technology. Let's dissect its technical specifications and design innovations to understand what made the MiG-27 so unique. At its heart was the Tumansky R-29 turbojet engine, a powerhouse that enabled the MiG-27 to achieve a maximum speed of approximately 1,350 km per hour at high altitudes and 1,100 km per hour at low altitudes. The engine's design was a marvel, featuring an afterburner that provided extra thrust, essential for quick escapes from high-threat environments. The airframe of the MiG-27 was a testament to Soviet ingenuity. Its variable geometry wings were a carryover from the MiG-23, allowing for excellent performance across a wide range of speeds and altitudes. For ground attack missions, these swing wings could be swept back for high-speed dashes or extended for low-speed, low-altitude operations providing the pilot with unparalleled flexibility. One of the standout features was the MiG-27's nose. Unlike the MiG-23, the MiG-27's nose was reshaped and shortened, accommodating a new laser rangefinder and marked target seeker system. This advancement significantly improved targeting accuracy, crucial for the aircraft's primary role in close air support. The landing gear of the MiG-27 was another area of innovation. Strengthened and redesigned, it allowed the aircraft to operate from rough airfields closer to the front lines, a vital capability in a fast-moving battlefield environment. This rugged design also enabled the MiG-27 to carry a substantial payload, including a variety of bombs and rockets. Moreover, the MiG-27 featured advanced avionics for its time. The cockpit was equipped with a heads-up display, a novel feature that provided critical flight and targeting information directly in the pilot's line of sight. Additionally, the aircraft was fitted with an advanced navigation and attack system, which allowed for precise weapon delivery, even in poor weather conditions. The aircraft's survivability was bolstered by incorporating armor plating around the cockpit and vital systems. 
This armor could withstand hits from ground-based small arms and anti-aircraft artillery, a necessary feature for an aircraft designed to fly at low altitudes in hostile environments. In summary, the MiG-27 was not just a modification of its predecessor, but a complete overhaul, designed meticulously to excel in the role of a ground-attack aircraft. Its combination of speed, agility, firepower, and survivability made it a formidable asset on the battlefield. The MiG-27 was designed to be a flying arsenal, capable of delivering a wide range of ordnance with deadly precision. Its armament capabilities were central to its role as a dedicated ground-attack aircraft. The primary weapon that distinguished the MiG-27 was its formidable 30mm Gryazev Shipunov GSH-630 cannon. This six-barrel Gatling-style autocannon was one of the most powerful aircraft cannons of the time, with a firing rate of 5,000 rounds per minute. Located in a gondola under the fuselage, this cannon was particularly effective against armored vehicles and fortified ground positions. Its high rate of fire and large caliber made it a fearsome tool against a variety of ground targets. Beyond its cannon, the MiG-27's flexible hardpoint configuration allowed it to carry a diverse array of ordnance. This included various types of air-to-surface missiles, such as the KH-23, NATO, reporting name AS-12, Kegler, a radio command-guided missile ideal for precision strikes. For broader targets, the MiG-27 could deploy a range of unguided rockets from pods, including the S-24 and S-25 series, known for their destructive power. The aircraft was also equipped to handle a variety of bombs, ranging from standard general-purpose bombs to more specialized munitions. This included laser-guided bombs, cluster bombs, and incendiary devices, allowing the MiG-27 to adapt its loadout based on the mission requirements. The aircraft's bombing systems were augmented with advanced sighting equipment, ensuring high accuracy in bomb delivery. In addition to its standard armament, the MiG-27 could carry tactical nuclear weapons, a capability that significantly enhanced its strategic importance during the Cold War era. This nuclear capability underscored the aircraft's role as a key component of the Soviet Union's tactical nuclear forces. Another notable aspect of the MiG-27's armament was its integration of electronic countermeasure systems. These systems were designed to enhance the aircraft's survivability in hostile environments. They included radar warning receivers, chaff and flare dispensers to counter enemy radar and heat-seeking missiles, respectively. This defensive suite ensured the MiG-27 could operate even in the presence of sophisticated enemy air defenses. The combination of heavy armament and sophisticated electronic warfare capabilities made the MiG-27 a versatile and formidable platform for ground attack missions. It was not just the quantity of the weapons it carried, but the quality and variety that allowed it to perform a wide range of tactical roles on the battlefield. From close air support to interdiction, from anti-tank missions to suppression of enemy air defenses, the MiG-27 had the arsenal to accomplish its objectives effectively. In summary, the armament of the MiG-27 was a harmonious blend of firepower, precision, and versatility. This made the flogger not just a carrier of weapons, but a comprehensive tool of destruction capable of adapting to the ever-changing dynamics of ground warfare. It was this lethal combination that cemented the MiG-27's reputation as one of the most effective ground-attack aircraft of its time. The operational history of the MiG-27 Flogger is a testament to its effectiveness in various combat environments. From its introduction into the Soviet Air Force in the 1970s, the MiG-27 proved to be a pivotal player on several battlegrounds. The aircraft's combat debut came in the grueling terrain of Afghanistan during the Soviet-Afghan War. Here, the MiG-27's capabilities were put to a stern test. Flying in the treacherous landscape, the aircraft conducted ground attack missions against Mujahideen forces. It proved particularly effective in the Panjshir Valley offensives, where its precision strikes on mountainous fortifications and supply lines played a crucial role in disrupting enemy movements. The flogger's robust design and powerful armament enabled it to withstand the challenges posed by the rugged terrain and enemy fire. Beyond the Soviet Union's borders, the MiG-27 saw extensive use in the Indian subcontinent. The Indian Air Force, one of the primary foreign operators of the MiG-27, utilized it extensively in various roles. In the Kargil War of 1999 between India and Pakistan, the MiG-27 showcased its prowess in high-altitude operations. Indian MiG-27s conducted numerous sorties, delivering precision strikes on enemy bunkers and supporting Indian ground forces. 
the aircraft's ability to carry a heavy payload and deliver it with accuracy proved invaluable in the mountainous region of Kargil. In Sri Lanka, the Sri Lankan Air Force employed the MiG-27 during the Sri Lankan Civil War. The aircraft played a significant role in counterinsurgency operations, striking targets in LTTE-controlled areas. Its success in these operations highlighted the MiG-27's adaptability to different combat scenarios, from conventional warfare to asymmetric conflicts. However, the operational history of the MiG-27 was not without its challenges. The aircraft faced issues like maintenance demands and the need for continuous upgrades to keep up with evolving combat environments. Despite these challenges, the MiG-27 remained a key asset in the air forces that operated it, demonstrating its resilience and adaptability. The MiG-27, like many sophisticated military aircraft, underwent a series of variants and upgrades throughout its service life, each designed to enhance its capabilities and adapt to evolving battlefield requirements. The initial production model, the MiG-27 Flogger D, set the stage for future adaptations. This version focused primarily on enhancing the ground attack capabilities, featuring improved armor and an upgraded navigation and targeting system suitable for low-altitude, high-speed missions. One of the most significant variants was the MiG-27K Flogger J-2, introduced in the late 1970s. This model was a technological leap forward, equipped with an advanced laser designator and rangefinder system, which allowed for more precise targeting. Additionally, it was fitted with an improved avionics suite, including a digital computer that enhanced weapon delivery systems and flight control. The MiG-27M Flogger J variant represented a culmination of the Flogger's development. It featured further advancements in avionics, such as a heads-up display for better situational awareness and an updated navigation system. The MiG-27M also boasted an enhanced electronic countermeasures package, providing better survivability in the face of growing anti-aircraft threats. Another notable variant was the MiG-27D, which was developed specifically for the Soviet Air Forces. This version emphasized improvements in electronic warfare capabilities, including updated radar warning receivers and a more sophisticated electronic countermeasures system. The Indian Air Force, a major operator of the MiG-27, developed their own upgraded version, known as the MiG-27M Bahadur. These aircraft underwent significant avionics upgrades, including the integration of modern GPS systems and improved communication equipment. The Bahadur variant demonstrated the MiG-27's adaptability to different operational needs and technological environments. In addition to these major variants, there were numerous other modifications and upgrades, each contributing to the MiG-27's versatility as a ground attack platform. These continuous improvements reflected the changing nature of aerial warfare and the need for aircraft to adapt to new challenges and technologies. The evolution of the MiG-27 through its various variants is a story of constant adaptation and improvement. Each version built upon the strengths of its predecessors while introducing new capabilities, ensuring that the MiG-27 remained a relevant and formidable force throughout its operational life. The retirement of the MiG-27 from active service symbolizes the end of an era in military aviation. This transition began in the late 1990s and early 2000s as countries sought to modernize their air forces with more technologically advanced aircraft. While India and Sri Lanka were notable operators of the MiG-27, they too have phased out this remarkable aircraft. In Kazakhstan, which was the last active operator of the MiG-27, the situation evolved significantly by 2024. The Kazakh Air Force began auctioning off its Soviet-era aircraft, including the MiG-27, as part of a strategic move towards modernization. These aircraft, no longer in operational condition and deemed economically unfeasible to modernize, marked the end of the MiG-27's operational role in Kazakhstan. The country's transition to more advanced aircraft, such as the Russian Su-30SM multi-role fighters, underscores the shift in military capabilities towards current-generation aircraft suitable for modern combat scenarios. Despite its retirement, the MiG-27's influence in military aviation endures. Its design philosophy, emphasizing robustness, versatility, and ground attack efficiency, continues to inspire newer aircraft designs. The operational strategies and pilot training programs developed around the MiG-27 have also contributed significantly to modern air combat tactics.